Well, five months ago, our nation lost 13 Marines at the hands of the Taliban in a tragic attack in Kabul, Afghanistan. And our next guest is calling out Democrats for their failure to hold the Biden administration accountable for the very botched withdrawal. The House Committee on Oversight and Reform is officially requesting a public in-person hearing on the withdrawal and the aftermath. And joining us now with more insight is the co-author of that letter, Wisconsin Congressman Glenn Grothman. Congressman, thank you so much for being with us. Well, glad to be on the show. You know, with all the other debacles, with all the other disasters, particularly what's going on at the border, it's so easy to forget what happened in Afghanistan and just run out the clock and forget about that debacle and all the, all the screw-ups that happened there. But we do feel we should take a break and have a hearing to explain one more time what happened in Afghanistan, all the people left behind, all the equipment left behind. You know, you bring up a very important point, um, and it's heartbreaking as someone who loves this country, who loves our military. Um, how many people do you believe are still there? How many Americans do you think, Congressman, are still left behind? Well, that's why we want to have a hearing. We have no idea. Mm -hmm. It could be a huge number. It could be a small number. But obviously, I think the Biden administration wants America to forget about Afghanistan. Uh, and it's easy to forget about it, particularly given what's going on at the border, the, the looming possibility of boxing things up in, in Ukraine, uh, you know, the, the spiraling inflation. But uh, that's why we want to have a hearing. We have no idea. You know, there were so many mistakes made. And I'm glad that you're pushing for this, Congressman, because there were so many inconsistencies, too. I mean, you know, the president at first said, you know, well, you know, we are going to try to get everybody out. We're not going to leave anybody behind. We know that that's not the case. He also said, you know, nobody told me that uh, we should, it's okay to pull out of Bagram. Well, obviously, it was a problem pulling out of Bagram. Also, about leaving troops there. Remember in the testimony that was blocked. Blockbuster when Millie and Austin came out and said, no, we did tell him that we should be leaving at least 2,000 troops there. Um, so I'm glad you're pushing. Do you think, though, realistically, that you will get any bipartisan support for this? you got Carolyn Maloney as the head of the committee. She's a Democrat. I, obviously, Carolyn has oddly given us some positive signs. So I, I don't say there's no chance we're going to have a hearing on this. And let's not forget in addition to the people, let's not forget all the equipment which was left behind, because that's inexcusable as well. You know, you bring up the equipment. It is staggering to me the millions upon millions of dollars, billions that were left behind in now the hands of the terrorist. And the fact that we didn't get rid of the equipment, that we didn't plan ahead, uh, it is stunning. Do you understand why that happened? I mean, it is baffling well, it just, to me. Well, we just have incompetence throughout the administration. Some things, I think they're intentionally trying to destroy the country. That's what I think is going on at the border, which is really, I think, the number one story. But other things is just a lack of confidence. And I think that's why they left all that behind. I mean, what in the world they think was going to happen? They should say, we've got billions of dollars worth of, worth of the equipment here. What is going to happen when we leave? And apparently nobody was thinking about that. You know, how important is it from a national security standpoint? Because when you see this and the message it sent, I think it was disastrous for America, clearly disastrous for President Biden and the administration. It shows weakness and it shows incompetence. The same thing the border shows. So whether you're talking about Ukraine, whether you're talking about Taiwan, whether you're talking about anything around the world, Iran, you're sending the message that this administration is not up to snuff. There's our, there's our guy himself. Yeah, no doubt. And it goes also beyond this, as we know. Um, I also feel like those family members deserve answers. Of the 13 men and women that died at the Abbey Gate, we still don't really know all the details of what happened. We also don't know the details of that drone strike that was supposed to be retaliation, which turned out to be an aid worker and his family. Well, right. And I think a lot of people, like I said, I think they want us to move on to the headlines the next day. And for the benefit of these families, they deserve better. We should we should have a hearing and and find out exactly what the Biden administration has to say for themselves. And Congressman, I want to ask you on the broader picture, um, because clearly there was 
a pain to America, the perception of America, after that disastrous withdrawal of Afghanistan. Now we also see what's happening over, you know, with Russia and, of course, on the Ukraine border. And then the message that President Biden put out about a, quote, a minor incursion, basically, we're not going to do anything, green lighting Russia. Um, how much has this hurt us internationally, that combination and so many other things, Congressman? Well, and the border. Let's not forget about mm -hmm. it. When we just found out 90,000 people coming in the country in December, I mean, no other country would allow this to happen. It shows either that we have people in power who want to destroy America or just utter incompetence. And I think, I think you know, it's beyond incompetence. I mean, for a while you could say, well, we just assigned Kamala Harris to work on it, and she's an incompetent, which is, I guess, what happens when you make affirmative action promises. But now, you, over time, you have to say the Biden administration just doesn't care if America has to accept 90,000 new people every month who we aren't vetting. And it, it, like I said, it just makes us look utterly weak, utterly incompetent, and anybody measuring up Joe Biden is going to get that message. Yeah, no doubt. And those numbers keep coming across the border, as you point out. And even the ones that were coming in from Afghanistan weren't vetted very well either, too. That was just such a disaster. Keep up the great work, and I hope that you get to the bottom of it for the American people. Thank you so much, Congressman. Glad to be on the show. Thank you very much. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.